Beginning of October 2020, I started to get what I thought was actually flu-like symptoms. But after the 10 days, I then felt worse. I literally couldn't walk from the bedroom to the bathroom without um, getting out of breath. I was then admitted into Torbay Hospital, into to emergency, and then on to the COVID ward. Um, not appreciating quite how poorly I was, not being a clinician, I was in a bay of four beds, and sadly I was the only person to actually walk out of that ward. In my um, first 24 hours, I think, of being in hospital, somebody um, from research came and approached me and asked me whether I would like to join the recovery trial. They administered some uh, steroids which they'd found, I think they were used for arthritis and they were very cheap but very effective at keeping people from having to use a ventilator. That study also was for the infusion of plasma from people that had been poorly with COVID earlier in the year to see whether that made a difference injecting their plasma into mine because they would hopefully have the antibodies and, and that would give me the antibodies. I've never been part of research before. I don't think I'd ever thought of research. This whole big thing that has to go on in the background, you know, if it, if it didn't go on, we'd still, probably still be treating somebody if we were in the 1800s, you know. If anybody asked me to join any research study, whether um, I went in with a poorly finger or with COVID, then absolutely. You're part of a trial, but you wouldn't be having it unless somebody had thought, actually, that's going to be doing good and it's, it's been tested previously. So I think if I can do my bit whilst being in hospital, if that helps me, that's brilliant. If it helps somebody else, that's brilliant. Everybody should sign up to trials wherever they're given the opportunity because it is for the greater good.